Okay guys, so we're just going to jump straight into this eye look. I already have this eye pretty much done for you guys. Um, if you guys hear a noise in the background like shh, that's only because my AC vent is closed in this room because I get really cold in here when I'm filming. So it's closed but it is very annoying because it's really loud when it's closed because when the AC is blowing. So I'm sorry about that. I think that noise was in my last video. And when I was editing, I heard it and it was super annoying, but I'm sorry that's all that noise is. It's just because my AC vent is on. I mean, because the AC is on and the vent is closed. But let's go ahead and get into this eye look. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eye. So I'm going to prime my eye with the Sephora um, eyeshadow primer. So for this look, I'm just going to be using the Tartus Pro Palette. I know you guys are probably annoyed with seeing this palette on my channel so much, but I really love this palette. And I haven't used all the colors yet in this palette, so I want to go ahead and do that by just keep using the palette. And I just love it because it's kind of one of those palettes that have like all the colors that you will need for a simple, easy look like this one, or even perfect for the fall. So the first color I'm going to use is the color Innocent. And I'm using this as a transition color. The next colors I'm going into is the color Edgy and Smoke. And I'm going to bring put that on the outer edge, bringing it close to the middle of my eye. brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges. And I'm just going back and forth with the brushes using the color and just applying the color and then blending it out to make sure the edges aren't super harsh. brush I use for Innocent and I'm going to go back into Innocent and in Wimsley and I'm going to dust that on the edge and also in the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> corner of my eye I'm taking my own foundation powder and this is the MAC um, Studio Fix and NW43 you can use your own foundation powder to do this or you can find a really mattifying eyeshadow that's in the sim same similar shade as this MAC foundation I so I'm just going to place that all into the inner part of my eye then going into that brush that I use the dark shadow for and just blending out the edges and then taking that that fluffy brush that I use for my transition color, just blending out everything to make everything seem seamless. So it's just a lot of blending and working and just, you know, just to get everything to look nice and smooth. <laughs> by itself and just adding that right in the middle of where my brow bone is just kind of blending that out the edges so next I'm just gonna go ahead and do a wing liner and I'm gonna use my NYX um, black liquid liner and I'm gonna place mascara on my lashes and then I'm gonna do my false lashes today I'm going to be using my Aranzo cosmetic lashes so I'm gonna go and these are in the, the style fixin okay so my lashes are on I'm gonna let them go ahead and dry before adding mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so we can do the face for my foundation for my primer I'm going to be using the skinny dip primer this is the bronzing primer so I did do a video using their foundation and primer and, I, and after that video I was still using the primer with the foundation and I just decided that I do like them together and maybe the primer helps the foundation last a little bit longer and makes the foundation um, basically kind of 
bronze up the skin so I am still using them together and I'm just going to place that with this brush. <music> take my Becca mattifying primer and I'm only gonna put this in my t-zone area only um, just to kind of suck up a little bit of extra oil because it is still very warm outside <music> next I'm gonna use their foundation in Sahara Rose and I'm just, I really love it. It's really good. It only takes me about two, maybe three pumps to do my whole face. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so since the video, I've just been constantly using it like every time I do my makeup. Concealer in the color Hazel. And I know this concealer is more of a bronzy type concealer, so I am going to go in with the NARS Creamy Radiant in the color Medium Dark 3. I'm going to use the matte sculpting foundation I'm gonna take a dirty sponge dampen it and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer and then blend out my contour. I'm gonna set my face, well, I'm gonna set my highlight with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder because this concealer is very bronzy. Um, I'm looking for a sponge. So I'm just going to use it, but I'm going to use the Laura Mercier like powder poof thing. As I said, I'm going to go into the color mode um, in the Tartus Pro palette and place that in my waterline. I mean, in my waterline, under my waterline. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dust this away. set the rest of my face with the Laura Michelle um, press powder so go ahead and add some more color and help out my contour a bit I'm going to take the you know the usual the Becca multitasking ugh, multitasking um, powder to go ahead and hit those contour areas One thing to um, let you guys know about that MAC foundation I used to contour with, it doesn't dry down like all my other foundations, so it kind of gives me a sheen. So sometimes I kind of go in with some setting powder. Even when I put the little bronzing powder on, it doesn't really set. Um, and I put bronzing powder and pressed powder on top of it, and it's it's just a hard foundation to set. Um, so I may not be using that anymore. So I'm just going in with this, um, 
a poof thing to kind of help that set and just I'm going to spray my face with the e.l.f. makeup mist while that dries I'm going to hit my bottom lashes with some mascara for blush I'm going to go into the wet n wild mellow wine blush <laughs> Becca um, Opal highlighter and I'm going to just go ahead and glow up. pencil and cola when you're trying to record and everybody's so loud I need to sharpen this Superstay Matte Ink, and this is in the color Vanier. Vanier? I don't know. Alrighty, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys love this look i want to do something super simple and smoky um with this kind of like dusty rose lip um just let me know how you guys feel about this look down below um and yeah if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to click and subscribe and i can't wait to chat with you guys in my next video Bye.